In this video, we'll explore creating the drag and drop functionality in WinUI, learning how this mechanism can be implemented for the data grid and tree view components. In the video titled, Creating a File Explorer Using Tree View and Data Grid Components in WinUI, we developed a file manager using Tree View and Data Grid Components. If you haven't watched this video yet, I recommend doing so because in this video, we'll expand the functionality of the file manager by adding the ability to drag and drop files. First, let's add the attributes allow drop, can drag, and can drag items to the tree view tag. These attributes will disable the ability to drag items and drag the tree itself. Next, let's add event handlers drag over and drop. Then, let's find the data grid element and add the following attributes and event handlers allow drop, can drag, drag starting, drop, drag over. the drag starting event. Selected items count, the declaration of a variable that will store the number of selected items. Selected items equals null, the declaration of a variable that will store a list of selected items of type file details. Data grid drag starting, this method that will be called when dragging items from the data grid starts. Var selected item equals data grid dot selected item as file details, getting the selected item in the data grid into the variable selected item. Args.allowed operations equals data package operation, copy, setting the allowed drag operation. Selected items equals sender as data grid dot selected items, cast dot to list, getting a list of selected items of type file details from the data grid. String text equals string join, creating a string containing the paths of the selected items. Args data dot set text, setting text data for dragging. Selected items count equals sender as data grid dot selected items, count, getting the number of selected items in the data grid. TreeView.AllowDrop equals true, setting the allow drop property to enable dragging in the tree view. The drag over event. E.Accepted operation equals E.DataView contains, this line determines whether the drag operation is accepted based on whether the drag data contains text. If it does, the operation is set as copy, otherwise, nothing is done. E dot drag UI override, caption equals selected items count dot toss string. Here, the caption of the drag UI, text displayed during dragging, is set to the count of selected items, which is stored in the variable selected items count. The remaining code is responsible for determining the mouse pointer's position relative to the data grid control, identifying the data grid row under the mouse pointer, and, depending on the item type, folder or file, highlighting the corresponding items in the data grid control. The drop event is responsible for handling actions performed when dropping items onto the data grid control. It checks whether the dropped data contains text and, if so, moves files or folders to the specified target folder. var data grid equals sender as data grid, this line obtains a reference to the data grid control on which the event occurred. treeview.allow drop equals false, here, the ability to drag items for the treeview control is disabled. It checks whether the data being dragged into the data grid contains text. If yes, then the following code is executed within the condition. In the for each loop, all selected items are processed. For each item, it checks whether a file or folder exists. If the file exists, it moves the file to the target folder specified in the selected item and removes that item from data grid files. 
If the item represents a folder, it also moves the folder to the target folder, and it's removed from data grid files as well. The drag over event for the tree view control. Data grid dot selected item equals null, this line deselects all rows in the data grid. In the for each loop, all selected rows from selected items in the data grid are highlighted. E dot accepted operation equals E dot data view contains. Here, the acceptance of the drag operation in the tree view is determined based on whether the drag data contains text. E dot drag UI override caption equals selected items count dot to string. This line sets the caption of the drag UI, text displayed during dragging, to the count of selected items stored in the variable selected items count. It obtains the mouse pointer's position relative to the tree view control and finds the tree view item element over which the mouse pointer is positioned. If a tree view item element is found, it's selected by setting its is selected property to true. Drop event for the tree view control. It obtains a reference to the tree view control on which the event occurred. Disables the ability to drag items for the tree view control. Checks whether the data being dragged into the tree view contains text. If yes, then the following code is executed within the condition. In the for each loop, all selected rows from data grid are processed. For each item, it checks whether a file or folder exists. If the file exists, it moves the file to the target folder specified in the selected tree view node, and that item is removed from the data grid files collection. If the item represents a folder, it also moves the folder to the target folder, and it's removed from the data grid files collection as well. After moving the file or folder, all rows in the data grid are deselect.